Hello and welcome to my channel where we may be days but we are not confused. We are going to do a seed time and harvest reading for the sign of Aries. So the purpose of this reading is to take a look at one of the many seeds that you may have planted in the past. Um, I say that because we don't just do one thing like we have lots of different things and lots of different situations that we are taking part in in our daily lives so this is just to take a snapshot of one of those particular ones that is coming across as the most relevant in my reading so it may or may not apply to you and see what the harvest is or what's coming in as a result of that action that you took or that decision that you made so we're going to look at several different oracle decks as well as the rider weight and see what we get okay so let's take a look for you aries so pre-shuffling i did do the rider weight and what i have in the past that you sewed as a seed um, i have the three of wands upright and so what i feel is that you made a decision to take action and kind of leave something behind. Maybe it was two other things you were working on. Maybe it was uh, two different situations or something. And you made a decision to take action in a direction, not quite sure what was going to take place. You know, I feel like there's something coming in on the horizon, like you're waiting for your ships to come in. And in order to do that, you made a decision to choose to go in a direction or take action towards a person a situation a project some sort of thing all right so now the harvest of this action that you took um i'm hearing like whittling you know like you whittle a stick i'm seeing like someone taking like a, a knife and kind of whittling off the stick and, and getting rid of excess branches so i feel like that's what it is it's like you're you were trying to kind of clean up a situation or get rid of excess that didn't serve the purpose of what you were trying to do. So the consequence of this or this the harvest coming in for this is that you're going to have um, an energy that's coming after you that's going to try to come with you know logic or some type of explanation or lots of verbal communication to try to perhaps convince you to do otherwise or to not do what it is that you're doing there does seem to be like a sense of almost like frenzy with it um, it's like a sense of you know you're moving forward and this person is trying to come in to stop you from doing so um, they don't want you moving in that direction all right and they're coming with a lot of uh, reasoning and justification for why you should not all right um, under the deck I've got the page of swords in reverse so this is also watching and you know there's there could be some conflict going on um, maybe there were a lot of different people that were trying to present an idea or they were trying to present some sort of um, I'm hearing like cast a lot casting lots for something you know like in the in the Bible the stories were that when people wanted to choose something you had to put everybody would get a stick and you have to pick one and I feel like you may have picked one and you didn't pick something else and so you have you have individuals who are coming in maybe two individuals coming in to with a lot of justification and debate and all this about why you shouldn't and it's coming from a space of I feel like you're also being watched by people or being um, yeah, I just kind of watch to see what you're going to do. Um, the energy feels nosy. I'm sorry. It feels like it's just, it's just people that are just looking because they want to say something. But I feel like what they're going to come in and say is not a truth because the sword is in reverse. It's not coming with clarity. I feel like the energy that's coming in is one that is going to come in with some truth. They're going to are at least truth the way that they see it. Um, they will be genuine in what they're saying, but they're coming to like take action to convince you otherwise. So let's clarify these cards a little bit here. Um, let's do... Let's, okay, let's do the Madame Fortune cards. Okay. Okay, yeah. So uh, what I see here is that with this decision that you're making you may have had some like blockages or hindrances that were blocking you from going in a certain path or a certain direction um, 
I feel as if there could have been, you know, like I said, there's an energy of people who are kind of watching what you're doing and, and kind of throwing their hand in or their opinions in at least. And I feel like there are some people who may have been kind of looking to see, you know, perhaps they might have been getting readings or they might have been just intuitively trying to pick up what you were going to do. Um, and so, you know, they, they might recognize, I feel that the, the choice that you're making is because that's not your fate. You're, you're trying to, I feel like you're trying to follow your fate and do what's in alignment with what is on your path. And I feel like what you are leaving behind was not on your path. All right. And so as a result of that, um, I have that you're actually safe from any kind of, um, negative impact from, you know, the backlash of you making this decision, regardless of what people feel. Uh, and I feel as if um, there is an energy also that even though you might have an energy of someone that's coming in with some truth to try to tell you what you should do and tell you why you shouldn't and they're bringing some kind of justification for it, their true feelings are actually masked in the situation. So you know, I feel like even with that, you, they're showing you one face, which is probably very genuine on the outside, but the intentions behind it may not be so good. All right. It may not be in your highest interest. It's more to, I feel like it's a one up is what I'm getting here. All right. So let's clarify this a little bit further. Okay. Yes. So yeah, I feel like, you know, you were trying to, when you made this decision, in the past, you were trying to heal yourself, you were trying to release, and I feel like, I don't feel like you did this in a negative way, okay? I feel like what you were doing is you tried to be mindful of how it impacted all of these individuals who are, you know, watching and waiting to see what decision that you make, because I feel like there's a decision, you know, whatever you were making, it could be in a job, like maybe you own a business and you had to select employees to keep, you know, something like that. But I feel like you did this as compassionately and with as much empathy as you could in doing so. And you tried to mend fences and you tried to do what you needed to do before you did it. All right. And I feel that, you know, now you're able to see the bigger picture. Now that you've made this decision and you're moving forward, you can kind of see with a bird's eye view what the, the wider situation was. Um, I feel like you couldn't see it really at first because you were in it. Because when you're in a situation, it's so much more difficult to get a full picture. Because first of all, you know, if you have a lot of the sword energy, and some of this one energy of like groups of people trying to, you know, basically cast their lot or be chosen or prove that they are the best for the job or whatever the case, whatever it is, you know, you're not going to be able to see the truth about what's really going on because people are wearing masks. They're going to be on their best behavior. They're going to, they're the Harlequin. This card is literally a Harlequin. And in, you know, in court, you know, if you had like a, a monarchy, you had a king, a queen, and you had like the jester, the court jester, the harlequin, you know, whatever the case. And their job was to, they were actually the most trusted because they could put on the face that they were always lighthearted. They were jovial. They didn't care. They, they just kind of were happy-go-lucky. But the truth is, a lot of times they could engage in a lot of espionage and um, political maneuvering because they had a closer, they were kind of seen as not being a threat. And I feel like you're able to see um, now that you made a decision. Otherwise, this person that was kind of might have been showing up like that for you. Um, they're coming in with this. This now they're they're not going to be coming at you that way. They're going to come with facts and and well, whatever it is. But you're able to see the big picture and see that you know that's maybe not the best thing and the microcosm of what they're speaking of there's facts but in the bigger picture it's not so much okay so let's do a little bit more clarification here okay yeah so I feel like you might have been trying to protect yourself or protect something in the process when you were making this decision there was something you were trying to protect. Um, I feel like going back to this hindrance card about fate blocking a path for you, I feel like the reason that other things didn't work out, even though at the time it seemed like it was the best possible option for you, was that it was not on your path and you're being protected. So I feel like, you know, God's, uh, God's 
rejection uh, is your protection or not God's rejection it's like man's rejection is God's protection and this could go vice versa too the fact that you didn't choose these individuals or these jobs or these projects could also be protection for those because with this hindrance it might not have worked out I feel like it wouldn't have worked out anyway something down the line would have fell through and it just in the bigger picture would not have worked and that's why that's taking place however that doesn't keep people from having hurt feelings or you know feeling reacting in the way in the moment that you will when you when you experience a rejection and taking it a, a different way all right so I feel like you are recognizing the power of how captivating you are to have so many different individuals willing to work for you or willing to be with you or willing to be in your energy and you know I feel like at some level although we would all love to feel that way I feel like it's kind of a burden for you because you know that you know when you're trying to find your crew or your 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 squad your tribe you know if you attract a lot of people it takes a lot to be able to weed through all of those individuals and find out who's really on your team versus who's just attracted to your energy, you know, and feeding off your, your energy. And I don't mean this so much in a vampiric way. Um, and it could be because like not all vampiric energy is negative. Like sometimes you could call it symbiotic energy is also somewhat, you know, it could be, you could, depending on how you view it, it can also be vampiric, you know? depending on the, the setup of it. And I feel like there's almost like this sense, this looks like more organic. So it's like the symbiosis of people just naturally attaching and getting something from you and feeling very fulfilled. Or, um, you know, maybe you have a business or some type of situation, employment opportunity that really sets people up and they're able to really do well. And maybe the environment is nice or, you know, something like that. And you recognize how important this is for people. And it's burdensome when you have to make a decision to choose and leave something behind. Because I feel like you want to choose everything, but you can't. Um, because, like we said, it, there was a hindrance. There was some kind of hindrance or blockage that was preventing you from doing that. I feel like the whole thing would have fell through if you were to do that and try to appease everyone, okay? Um, let's clarify a little bit more. Yeah. yeah, you just, you wanted to make the best choices that you could. I feel like it was difficult to do that. I feel like you had to like really, really dig deep um, to make this decision. And I feel like you weren't sure that you were making, you weren't making a choice based off of, um, I feel, I feel like you were trying to dig deep and look at your own intentions and make sure that your intentions were in alignment with what your soul actually wanted to do and not with some other situation um you know some hidden ulterior motive because that's how much you really looked into this and because of that um because you were really trying to show goodness i feel like you were trying to really tap into your higher source and and act from a virtuous place that you are being protected and that i mean i have the archangel gabriel card here messenger of creativity and hope you know, I feel like you will be fruitful and you will prosper and the, the chance that you took to move forward into this space is going to be rewarded with fruitfulness. You know, whatever you are trying to do, it's going to open up for you and it's going to happen because you are pulling it down from heaven. This is something that was given to you from a divine source and you were receiving this and you're moving into it. And as a result of that, it will be fruitful for you. Okay. All right. A few more cards here. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like in, before also, you were trying to, you were kind of living in the past and also trying to live in the future at the same time, but not being present in the moment. And because you were more concerned about, you know, who was there before or how things were done in the past. And then you were also fast forwarding to how things would react if you didn't do that or how, what would happen with these individuals or so on if you weren't there for them to symbiotically connect to, that you were not able to look, be present in the moment and look at what's actually happening so that you could impact your space there, make make choices from what is actually logical or what makes sense and what connects with you in the moment. You know, what's working and what's not working. And 
you know, because of that, you were able to, when you did do that, settle into your space in that moment, you made the decision that it was time to go. You recognize that it's time to move on on your path and that it's a very difficult decision for you. It, it was not without a cost, without an emotional cost, a psychological cost, but you're also recognizing that it's not your job to protect other people from dealing with their situations and not having to go through those same gates of rejection, loss, having to deal with their sense of let, leave, letting something go and moving into the future and not really knowing what's there. Because I feel like you still don't really know what's coming on the horizon. You just know that you have to move in a direction. And you know that you can't shelter other people from having that experience either. All right. Um, I'm, I'm hearing, you know, this is something that I get a lot from me is that we all have to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling, which means that we all have to go through our process to work through whatever we have to do in our life so that we can be at our best and show up at our best and kind of be in the space that's for us in that moment okay? that aligns with us the most. So. Yeah, so, you know, I feel like you were being, you recognized that whatever option you had, you were being gifted. It was a gift and, and it was going to bring you happiness and peace. And you could choose. You didn't have to take it, but you decided that you were going to choose to go into that direction. All right. And because you did that, you are recognizing that you listened to the divine messages within you and you recognize that you were, you had wisdom and you, you followed it and you're seeing the fruits of that. In spite of, you know, if you got a lot of consult, you know, like we said before, you might have been consulting um, outside readers or other people's intuition to try to tell you what to do because you didn't want to make your own decision. But now because you have done this and you were able to get, kind of get a, a view from above about what the blowback was, you can see what the correct choice was and you're recognizing that you do have wisdom inside of you and that it is trustworthy because you may not have trusted yourself. You might have good reasons for not doing that as well, but in this situation, you're seeing that you can. All right, so let's get an abundance card or two to wrap up. All right, yeah. So yeah, really summing this up, I feel like you may have been in a situation where you might have been kind of complaining to yourself about things that you had going on and you decided to take back your own power um, maybe there was a lot of, there was some kind of conflict or, you know, you felt like you couldn't change what you were in. And instead of sitting in the muck and the mire of a stuck situation, you decided that you were going to take action. And because you did that, you are actually doing yourself a favor by, um, I feel like protecting your energy and doing for yourself. You're doing something good for yourself because this, I feel, is you putting a lot into others and being very concerned about others in ways that are beautiful and very inspirational, but ways that can be very self-defeating and not healthy if you are trying to take on the burdens of people emotionally and their spiritual burdens and so on and trying to protect people on their path. Um, and what you're doing is you're kind of saving your own future. You're setting aside space for yourself to do what is going to serve you best so that you can blossom and grow in the space that you're supposed to, as opposed to trying to shelter and create an unstable space for others, which is actually blocking them from getting on their highest, most stable, best paths that will actually bring them more joy, that will actually bring them more balance and actually take them where they actually need to be. All right. And I feel like that's why this was coming in. Okay. All right, Aries. So that is the, the reading that I have for you for your seed time and harvest. I hope it was helpful for you. Um, feel free to check out another video until the next one. Bye-bye.